The FC RX-7 Big Break Upgrade is a good option for your E30 because it's affordable, gets you that good 4-pot caliper, and uh, it's pretty easy to do. I'm going to show you how to do it right now. The parts you need for the swap are calipers, pads, and retaining clips from an FC RX-7. You're also going to need the rotors from a G60 Corrado, but you need to enlarge the center hub board to 661 millimeters exactly, so bring it to your local machine shop. After that, we got to mount the calipers to the spindles using some sort of adapter bracket. I went with Garagistic brackets. First things first, we got to mount up our calipers, make sure that they clear our wheels. You need at least a 15 inch wheel to clear these bad boys. Any smaller, you're taking a trip down to Rubtown. So when we mount this up, we're going to have to just cut away a little bit of the dust shield because this is a big break after all. So it looks like we've got some good clearance. It's time to pull the calipers back off and get these bad boys painted. The wheel is hitting the caliper right now. When we tested for clearance, we had the bracket mounted incorrectly. So we're going to mount the wheel with a 15 mil spacer, see if we can fix that. What the f So we definitely need to use the wheel spacer, but on top of that, these ribs here are rubbing a little bit on the wheel. So I'm hoping that we can just kind of grind them down and the wheel will fit happy and I can run these because I really want to use them. Well now that we figured that one out, it's time to hook up our calipers to our brake lines. The biggest thing is on your BMW, all of the brake lines are M10 by one bubble flare, whereas on the calipers, it's M10 by one inverted flare. So there's a couple options. You can go online and get all the necessary adapter fittings to make it work with your pre-existing lines. And the second option is a little bit cheaper. You can go to your local parts store, buy a length of M10 by one bubble flare line, and then just cut it really short, put an inverted flare on the other end, and then it works great as just a cheap little adapter. And that's it for the video, guys. Make sure to check in the description. I left all of the part numbers that you guys need to do this swap. Also right here are the measurements that you need to make sure that these brakes are gonna clear your wheels. Don't be like me, double check before you paint. Also, if you're liking this content, then give us a like, give us a subscribe, comment below. We love answering your questions, so ask away. We'll see you in the next video.